Hello, Captains! This is the Doctor, and today I'm going to play the new Kobayashi Maru Weekend Event. Now, this is a new weekend event that they've introduced, but it's actually based off of an older uh, kind of uh, thing they had. I guess you could call it an STF, you call it whatever you want. It was called No Win Scenario, and it was very fun. They took it out of the game long ago, but it used to be something that a lot of people aspired to play and was quite fun. And basically, it was this idea of bringing wave after wave after wave of difficulty to the player to allow them to have a really good challenge and literally a scenario in which you could not win. Well, they pulled that out of the game and totally revamped this new playstyle, and now it's called the Kobayashi Maru, and it is quite a bit different from what No Win Scenario was. Um, so this is just a limited weekend event. Unfortunately, this is not something, as far as I know, that's going to remain in the game for a very long time, although I wish it was. I wish this was a permanent feature of the game. But this is one of those things they're going to bring in every now and then, you know, and have like a weekend event of. And for the 4th of July weekend, this is the weekend event that we are getting. Now, I am coming into this event at currently recording near the very end of the event. I have been out on vacation and missed the chance to play this from the beginning this weekend when it was first introduced. So I'm coming at this very late. This is a very late recording of this, and therefore I'm not really going to have time to get the reward. But if you will go to your reputation and go to events, you will notice down here you have a new event called Collect Kobayashi Maru Event Rewards. Exchange three event, three weekend event vouchers to receive two special space weapons that get stronger the longer a skirmish lasts. Only one can be equipped at a time. Earn weekend event vouchers by completing the Kobayashi Maru event. And the reward is either a prolonged engagement phaser beam array or prolonged engagement phaser dual cannons. Now, as you can see, this is a very unique item, something I don't think they've ever had before, something that increases its damage as time goes on, as you are prolonging the engagement, as it were. So I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be because a lot of people like to do a lot of spike damage up front, which typically can destroy an enemy or an NPC in the game quite fast. And so you're not really in an engaged prolonged uh, shooting match with the enemy. Uh, so I'm not really sure how useful this will be. You guys can let me know if you think these weapons would be useful to you. But anyway, that's the reward. And if you want it, you need three of these vouchers. And the way to get that is to play the Kobayashi Maru. I'm going to go ahead and add the event, even though I'm kind of at the end of this event now. And I don't think I'm going to have time to get all three vouchers. But I'm going to play the event anyway so that we can just take a quick look at it because obviously it's a new thing it's very exciting and we want to take a look at that now i will say before recording this video i did play this once i wanted to just try it out and see what it looked like and figure out you know how to play it i don't want to look totally noobish here so i did play it once but only once and it was a pug and i am going to pug it again today now there's two versions of this you've got Kobayashi Maru timed, which you have 15 minutes to do it, and you do as many, basically as many layers of it as you can, and everyone has to stay alive. If you all die, or if the Kobayashi Maru dies, the whole thing is over, but you have to do that within 15 minutes. And then there's an untimed version where you basically just keep going for as long as you can until everybody dies or the Kobayashi Maru dies. 
So the Kobayashi Maru is go is a ship. It's your ally. It's going to sit out there in the middle, and you have to protect it from these waves of enemy. But it's not just waves of enemy. There's also hazards that are introduced here. You have a lot of space hazards that are introduced, and then you have a lot of enemy debuffs that will be introduced to you and your team, which can do a lot of damage to you and even the Kobayashi Maru. And I'm not going to go through all of the hazards and the debuffs. There's a lot of them. But if you read the introduction to this, let's just call it an STF. If you read the introduction to this STF when you start it up for the first time, you will see what all of those hazards and what they call affixes actually do. And it can do quite a bit of damage. So you want to stay alive. You want to keep your team alive. And you want to keep the Kobayashi Maru alive. Any of those dies, if all of your team dies, or the Kobayashi Maru dies, it's over. So, the first one I'm going to do is untimed. Let's just try this out without a time limit first. I'll join Q, join Q. We're going to do this pug style. So there's a selected Kobayashi Maru. Uh, Q group is going, so hopefully this will fill up really quickly. Probably will. And uh, we'll do this one. Now, because it's a pug... This could go very quickly, or this could take a long time. I'm not sure. That's going to depend on the group, obviously. Uh, the idea is to, again, do as many waves as possible. The first time I did this, the pug that I just did before recording this, we got three waves in, and then everybody died. So it didn't go very far. It lasted, like, just a couple of minutes. It was very short. So maybe this one will fare better. And now that I know uh, kind of what to expect... After reading that introduction briefing, maybe I'll understand now what to look for as far as hazards and affixes go. But really what you just need to focus on is protecting the Maru, keeping your team alive, keeping yourself alive, and blowing up ships. That's what I would say you would want to do here. And of course, then you'll get a voucher, and you can put that towards the reward which is a phaser-based energy type. So if you don't have a phaser-based energy build, the reward may not benefit you. But there it is anyway. Now I'm not gonna go through the briefing here, except we do have a little bit of a countdown, Welcome so... To the Gamma Hydra training facility. We'll just In quickly... Exercise, you must put basically, you can see there's hazards, hazards, environmental difficulties, hazards environmental affixes, which are buffs and debuffs. You can read over all of these, but... Just note, there's a countdown timer here with the briefing. Once it's over, then the combat starts. You can read all that, but if you do that, you may miss a couple of waves. Basically, just try to avoid all the bad things that are going to happen to you in space. Uh, that's probably the best way to play this. So let's just do this. Again, this is a pug. No idea if this will be successful or not, but I'm just going to play it and kind of show you what happens here. This is the Kobayashi Maru. 19 periods out of all tier 6. We have struck a gravitic mine and have lost all power. Our highest penetrated and we have sustained... There's the Maru. So we basically need to protect her. Simple as that. Protect this ship. And here comes the first wave. So that's wave one, it looks like we got through. Get ready for another wave. Still 100% on the Maru, so we're good. Here's a hazard, I believe, or something that's going to be happening. Yeah, that. We need to avoid that.
crap. Got a big one. I'm not sure if we can heal the Maru. Let's see. Yes, we can heal the Maru. So try to heal uh, heal her as well. That will be important. And your teammates too. Remember, if all your teammates die, it's over. If they all die at once. So we can heal the Maru. Boy, that does a lot of damage. That thing right there, that bombardment does a lot of damage. So you can heal the Maru, so keep doing that. Ship is under attack. I think people might forget about doing that. Oh crap. Got a lot of ships here. Kobayashi Maru's health is at 50%. Target shields have failed. Right shield failing. Left shield failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Kobayashi health is at 25%. Dang, there's so many ships. Where is the Maru? Crap. Yeah, this is about to end. I can feel it. Well, ooh, I saved her. Barely. She's almost dead though. Heads up! 7%. Another wave is coming your way. Oh come on. Nah. That was stupid. My hazard emitter did it started to heal and then went away. Okay. This is this is this is intense. Pretty intense right here, right, and it's over. This simulation is over. Three rounds. Results. Three rounds completed. 20 is our total score, and it's over. Well, that went really fast. Now, I never blew up. I was tanking this quite well. But, uh, yeah, the Kobayashi Maru is the ship that actually blew up here not our team so keeping the Kobayashi Maru alive is a priority enemy buff one so basically uh, you really need to have your team kind of all work together to keep it healed keep it alive as much as possible I can see that being a problem here so here we go this is my second run ever of Kobayashi Maru and I got three rounds in in a pug I don't know if that's good or bad. Seems to me like it's a little low. We probably could have got a little farther there, but I think I don't think anyone else was healing the Maru except me. So people may forget about that. They may not quite do that. So just something to keep in mind. Could help it last just a little bit longer, maybe give you just a little bit more of an edge. But otherwise, stay alive. Fight the fight. Fight the good fight. I am going to play this again. I'll do another recording because obviously this was real short. Uh, I'll do the timed one next, and I'm actually going to switch characters. I'm going to do it on my Escort, which can do a lot more damage than this ship. This ship does pretty good damage. It's a cruiser, and I do pretty good damage on it, but I do a lot more damage on my Escort that I have, my Theseus class. So I'm going to switch over to my Theseus, and I'm going to do another video of this on that ship, which can do a lot more damage. And again, I'll pug it and see... See what happens, and this time we will do the timed event. But that, anyway, is my second ever run of this. That's what I got. Let me know in the comments how far you got, especially on your first or second run. Obviously, if I have was able to play this all day long, every day, for the last, you know, several days, would be a lot better at this, maybe. I'm not sure. Coming at this at the end of the event. Uh, but, anyway, at least I finally I do get the chance to play it, which is nice. A chance to experience it, a chance to record it, and show you all... This new event, Kobayashi Maru, and get your opinion of what you think of this new event. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.